Hey guys, what is up? Dave coming back to you with a new video that I promised a friend I would make a while ago and I just haven't had the chance yet and finally today I realized I'm just sitting here bored out of my mind. Let's make a video tutorial. So today's video tutorial is all about Discord. Now I wanted to show off a video for Discord because we use it so much personally for the 1320 games for keeping in touch with each other. We use it more than the forum. The forums become useless. There hasn't been a post on the forum in a long time, and I also kind of broke the forum today, and I can't get it to work again. So, I'm looking for better options anyway. There is a hair across my eye, and I want it gone. Alright, it's gone. Let's get back into this. So, first things first, you're going to need Discord, obviously. So, just Google it, discordapp.com, that easily, or that easy. And simply just download for Windows. When you download it for Windows, it's obviously going to be an executable file. Just download it. It's not that big. It's 57 megabytes. Whoopee. Install it. It's like any other normal installation process. If I go through the installer on my computer, it's going to mess with some things. Probably because of already having... Yeah, see? Since I already have Discord installed and it's running, it's not going to let me do it. So, I already have Discord installed. Time to ditch Skype and TeamSpeak, just like they said. So now that I have Discord installed, let me actually just close out of it completely. There we go. And I'm going to run Discord. I don't give a shit about that. Run Discord. Oh my god, this is stupid. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm on Windows 10 and it looks like this. Where the hell did my Discord go? Oh my god, this is stupid. Discord. Why is Discord suddenly gone? <laughs> I shouldn't have even ran the EXE, apparently. Jesus Christ, this is... Where did it go? What just happened? What in the world just happened? Uh, technical difficulties. I'm going to get back to you here in a second. Okay, what the hell ever. Um, I don't know what happened there, but Discord decided to go poof, and then I clicked the installer button and suddenly Discord came back. I didn't even reinstall it. It just happened to work. So, we're back on Discord, and as you can see, I already have a couple servers I'm a member of. I have a, couple, I have a friends list set up. Uh, during the initial creation of your Discord, let me see if I can actually log out. Because that'll make this a lot easier. I would rather log out, show you guys from the beginning. So here you go. So first of all, you're going to want to register an account. I'm going to make a spare account because I have enough of them. We'll do TechX Plays instead, and we'll do one of my favorite passwords. So... It'll ask you to, hey, I'm not a robot. Buses, buses, school buses count as buses. Buses, buses. No short buses. Cool. I'm in the good today. So it created me my account. So it's going to log in. It'll ask you if you want to create a server or join a server. For this tutorial, we're going to create. Oh. Well, you know what? We're going to log into my other one. You saw the creation process. We're just going to log into my normal account, which... I don't know the password for, so this is going to be fun. That's correct. There we go. So now, I'm back. It'll ask you about that server creation, if you want to create something or not. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be creating a server because that's what I'm hoping to help somebody do with uh, theirs. So you do create server. You can name your server whatever. This is going to be 1320 wherever. We'll just say there's another hair in front of my eye. Okay, it's gone. And we're going to say it's a US server. And you can put an icon. It has to be 128 by 128 create the server that easy so you can invite some friends um, or you can make an invite link and you can set a maximum number of uses to no limit and you can make it never expire generate new link 
Okay, it's not going to let me because there's nobody here. Now, you'll, you're will you going to want to make channels and stuff like that. Very easy. You can right-click, create channel. That creates an actual channel name. So channels are these. Where I'm sitting right now, I'm in a voice channel. Even though I'm muted and stuff like that, you know, I'm in a voice chat and the general chat. I'm in both places because I can be in a voice chat and a text chat at the same time. Now, let's say I want there to be, like, something car-related. Let's say I want a Mustang section. Oh, the hair's on my shirt now. What in the hell is this? Go away. Jesus. Anyway, so there you go. It should have created a Mustang section. So now I'm in the Mustang section. Very easy. You can also create categories, which is what voice channels and text channels is. You can make your own categories. Um, you can also set yourself as a developer, which is something we're going to need for later on in this tutorial. So if you want to make yourself a developer, you go Appearance, Developer Mode, and just tick it so it's to the right. That's all you need. And then once you're a developer, now you're really set for things to take off. So if you want to do things like, um, there's different server settings. You can set a specific AFK channel. Um, it'll detect if people haven't put a message in in a while, things like that. You, there's moderations you can do, audit modes, custom emojis. You can make your own emojis. We have a ton of them on the 1320 challenge thing right now. I don't have any of them actually saved to my computer. Or I would just, well, actually I can make one. So you have to make them under a certain file size because they're literally meant to just be emojis. They're not meant to be anything crazy. I mean, I guess I can make it just the wheel. There we go. So now it's just the wheel and you can change what this is. So you can make this rim. So when you're in the chat, you do colon, rim, colon, and it types out the rim. So then it puts the wheel in the chat. Pretty cool. Now, let's say you want to do something that I haven't seen any Discord channels go over yet. You want to embed your chat channel on a web page. Now, that's not normally a thing that's possible. Because if you normally look at websites like, uh, oh yeah, I have our website in maintenance mode. If you normally look at a website that's like WordPress created or something like that, or even not WordPress created, you just... Oh, here's a little sneak peek of what the website's going to look like. Um, if you go in and you, like I said, I broke the forum, go onto a website, they usually have a join server button of some kind. And then you join the server, it'll tell them about users that are currently online, things like that. We can easily get around that and do something very special. Thanks to a friend of mine, uh, Steve, Steven, Steve, I still don't know what he prefers to be called. You can actually go to this website called titanembeds.com. Titan Embeds allows you to put your entire Discord chat channel onto a web page. You simply click start here. It'll make you log in first. But once you're logged in, you're completely good. You can do uh, user-defined CSS. Um, you can do donations and stuff like that. Donate to the project, which they'll give you some like golden names and stuff like that. Um... You can obviously modify your chat channels. There are some bugs with Titan Embed. The one bug we've noticed so far is we have not been able to, for some odd reason, use my full Discord server. Um, this one. We just haven't been able to use it on a website yet. For some odd reason, we don't know why. Um, once we get that fixed, we'll be able to use it on a website. But I'm going to be creating a temporary Discord chat uh, channel, which is this one for this video. So once you have this created, you're going to need, since you created yourself a, uh, or made yourself a developer earlier on in this tutorial, you got to copy ID. That's simple. Go into your modify. You have to invite Titan. Authorize it. Tell it you're not a robot. Once you're authorized, it'll take you back. Oh, you'll close the window. Go to configure the server. And as you can see, 
you have all these settings you can play with. So like my server ID is already here, um, but you can embed it with an iframe code. So you'll basically copy this code, take it to a web page like this. I like things centered, so I have center tags. Paste it, save it, and then preview the changes when it comes to uh, your web page. Scroll down, there's the Discord. You simply click Discord login, it'll ask you to authorize the channel usage, and it should log in. As you can see, it logged right in. This is the Discord server widget. You click this button. You can actually see the chat channels right here on the side. It doesn't have the voice chat on the website-based version of it, but you know that's something they might add in a later version. From there, you can actually you know, open the Discord app if you need to. You can manage Guild Embed, which means um, actually modifying your settings. Um, there's a ton of stuff you can do. You can toggle visitor mode, which means everyone has access to all channels. I don't like that idea. I'll go over a more advanced setup of a Discord server later on, but I wanted to at least get something cool in this video to show you guys something that nobody's really shown. And like I said, huge shout out to our man, uh, Kennard, AKA Steve, um, from the Discord channel and from the 1320 websites. He's the one who showed me, as you can see, the forum was very broken. I can't figure out why it won't theme. Um, but he's the one that showed me the ways of doing the Titan embed. And then from here, you can type in and chat right here, and it'll show up actually in the Discord channel too. It's going to say Titan bot like this unless you enable one setting. That one setting you're going to want to enable is up here. You're going to want to enable webhooks. Now, once you have webhooks enabled, send another message. Go back to Discord, and it'll actually say your username here. Now, it's always going to say bot because that's the only way they can really emulate this. Once it's not being emulated that way, once they find a way around that, that's when they'll update the server and allow for it to work the way that it should. But for right now, until I get the server actually, or the uh, forum actually fixed, this is going to be our temporary solution on the website. Like I said, there's some bugs with Titan that they have no idea about. Steve has been on top of the idea of it lately. We cannot get this server to work on Titan Embed. We don't know why. I'll even show you guys. Like, it's a little weird that it doesn't work. I'll go back. I'll go back. Thank you. So you go modify. This is the one I obviously wanted on. I'll copy my iframe infos. I'm going to laugh when this works. Dune. Preview changes. It'll take you out of this. It'll ask for my login, for authentication. And it just sits at this login screen and never logs in. Eventually it gives up and you actually just click it again. It's an endless loop. This is one of the bugs in uh, Discord with this tool. I haven't figured it out. Steve hasn't figured it out. I'm wondering if it's something with having a ton of channels like we do. Um, that's something I'm going to actually test with this 1320 Forever spare channel. I'm going to make a ton of different channels and see what happens. Steve has this one set up, so this is the one I'm actually going to use on the website. Uh, for now because it'll just be easier that way but as you can see it just it never logs in so we're gonna go back by the way if you guys want like full WordPress setup uh, tutorials and how my websites are set up um, I can do those as well those are very easy for me uh, I've been doing WordPress for a long long time so as you can see it logged in this is a 1320 based discord so as of right now, that's probably going to be our option until I fix the actual forum and figure out why it's not working. Once the forum's fixed, then I'll get back to this and we'll have the Discord thing somewhere else. Or I'll use the Discord embed to um, 
get rid of the shout box on the website. The shout box isn't needed if we have the Discord channel that we can embed. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in a later one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Hope you guys learned something. That's always the important part with my videos. Peace out.